I'm 17 now, this is rated R, that means I can go see it. Just to clarify, we're not endorsing Martin Scorsese films. Uh, I've never really seen any other Martin Scorsese films, so I wouldn't know. But just from what I've heard, he made a really blasphemous, disrespectful film about the life of Jesus. And some his other movies just have a lot of junk in them. Even this movie, not for younger audiences because of some of the just subject matter and what it deals with. And there's a couple scenes that are, are fairly graphic with the violence just showing the, the persecution that some of these Christians went through. And here's the most important part I think we can take away from this movie. You know, we, we get made fun of on social media or wherever for being Christians, and we say, oh, we're being persecuted. And the fact is, in the West, we don't know what persecution is. Right. And this movie shows it, and it shows, at the end of the day, even if, if Andrew Garfield's character, the lead, like the priest, weren't Christians and, and they weren't setting a good example. Some of the villagers that you see martyred definitely were. And their example is a good one. Um, but also it just shows us what real persecution looks like. Yeah, we, we don't have it bad here in the West. And and hopefully, you know, we can stop saying that because right, right now we're, we're just not getting persecuted. Uh, Silence is based off a novel which I haven't read yet, but I'm interested to see how accurate it was to the novel. A lot of people say it did stick very closely to the source material. Yeah, it kind of seems like a movie that would. So we start off with Qui-Gon Jinn, otherwise known as Liam Neeson, in Japan, facing persecution for being a Christian. And this takes place in the 17th century, and so Japanese people did not like Christians back then. And so we're open up to that, and they're getting persecuted. Now we go to uh, the next scene, where there's Spider-Man, also known as Andrew Garfield, and Kylo Ren, also known as Kylo Ren, talking to the uh, priest, and they're like, hey, Qui-Gon Jing, yeah, he committed apostasy. He, he, uh, he recanted his faith in Japan. And Spider-Man's like, what? No, he didn't. So they're like, we're gonna go to Japan and find Qui-Gon Jing. And so they, they go on this quest. And so yeah, the movie is um in Japan, uh, trying to find their master. They are the bad right. ones. And they face persecution. Right, and so a lot of Christians actually are, are really praising this movie. They're pretty excited about it, um, which I find really interesting because there's part of the movie, the ending, hence spoiler heavy, that is extremely controversial. So at the end, when Spider-Man finally finds Qui-Gon Jinn, he figures out that it's true. He apostatized, he uh, married uh, a Japanese woman and, and, and adopted the son and, and became a, a Buddhist and actually wrote a book um, re renouncing his, his Christianity and, and kind of trying to give an argument for, for why that can't be true. And he's urging Andrew Garfield to do the same thing. And so, in the end, he actually does. And the reason this ending is controversial is because ultimately, through a series of events, it implies that even though they did this, they did this so because uh, what was happening is the Japanese were saying, if you recant your faith, we'll let these other Christians live. They weren't even threatening to kill Andrew Garfield or Qui-Gon Jinn. They were saying, we'll, we'll let these other people live if you go ahead and recant your faith. And so they do it for the sake of these other people. Uh, and it implies that even though they lived the rest of their life as Buddhists in Japan, uh, helping those people, that they were still secretly living out their faith. 
several, I think, theological problems with that. One, uh, Jesus very clearly said that if you deny me um, in front of men, uh, you're not worthy of the kingdom of heaven, essentially. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. And, and also, the question, can, can you live out your faith privately? Is, is it something you can hide? Is, is it sincere at that point? Um, so, that's just kind of my view on the ending. A little controversial, but um, the acting was great. Cinematography, everything. Very well-made movie. But I just have some issues with the end. What was your take on the ending, Ryan? Well, I, sh I share the same views as you. Um, and you know, the point to bring about but what Jesus said... A lot of people would respond to that, well, you know, Peter denied Jesus, but we have to remember, Peter repented of that and, be, and was a very active missionary. So, while he did re uh, deny Jesus before men, uh, he ultimately he repented of that. So, and so, when we look at Spider-Man and his journey through, uh, through Japan, ultimately, you know, he, he, he recants, and we don't know really if he... Uh, if he did or not, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So he doesn't, he doesn't repent because he's still, he's pretending to do all this stuff the whole right. rest of his life. But there's a part where he, you know, he prays and it shows him holding this little cross at the end and little implications that, hey, they did this because, and it's actually another really controversial thing about the movie is it's actually he hears Jesus' voice telling him to apostatize. He says, "Go ahead and do it yeah. for the sake of these people." That's true. Yeah. Said, "Trample on me. I, I came into this world." Uh, to suffer. And, uh, it's just interesting. Um, but again, very well made. It's some of the best acting I've ever, I've ever seen. Andrew Garfield is, uh, really impressing me. First Hacksaw Ridge in this. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Film Friday. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Let us know what you thought of silence. Have a great day.